All right. So I want to do a little review of Mortal Kombat Defenders of the Realm. Um, because it's it's, it's it's a kind of a, I guess now it's kind of more of an obscure series. Um, because it, it doesn't really seem to get talked about, and I only got like what, thirteen episodes. Um, yeah, th yeah, thirteen episodes, and it was cancelled. It was downright cancelled, I guess. Which is weird. Like, it's weird in the, the way it's way it's presented. Like, it is very much a Saturday morning cartoon style where it's like all, 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 all the Mortal Kombat characters are kind of just together and they just defend the realm. So there's, the, there's, there's that. It's it's weird. Nightwolf, is, is, I, I said this a little most times. Nightwolf is the tech guy. What? Uh -huh. Why did they make... I still don't understand that decision of making Nightwolf the tech guy. Like, w why? It's a fucking, like, shaman, like, kind of character. Why would you make Nightwolf the tech guy? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, if you look at, like, Striker, oh, I guess... Striker's only made tech, like, kind of, he kind of has that weird tech aspect to him in Armageddon, and that's about it. Um, I'm trying to think who who else, who was established at this point, if you say, let's say up to Mortal Kombat 3, who would be the tech guy? Uh, why do we need the tech guy? Like, well, we've got fucking Raiden. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Um, just trying to think who, who in Mortal if you look at Mortal Kombat 3. Uh, yeah. There isn't really anyone I'm like. Would make more sense as a tech guy, I guess, but. Like, seriously, yeah, Nightwolf is like the shaman is. Like, he seems like the most naturalistic type character, and they're like, yeah, no, put him in charge of the computers. Well. Let, let, let's get past that. Um, Some of the characters. A little bit weird. Like Sonya is annoying. Like she just seems to hate every on everyone. Like uh, she hates on Sub-Zero at the start. You're like, okay, that's a bit weird. And then just weirdly, just yeah, hates on everyone. She's just, or yeah, it's not a good look. Is it, considering she's like, you know, you've her and Katana, and Katana is there. For like, well, basically, basically, how she is in the movie is basically, hey, I'm Katana here. I'm here to spout exposition. I have exposition for you. Time to spout it. I will spout all the exposition. Exposition, exposition. Do 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 do. Raiden shows up every once in a while just to go like, hey guys, ah uh, yeah, we need a thing. Yeah yeah cool. Um. Yeah, main character. What have we got? So we got Ra we have Raiden. Sonya, Jax, Sub Zero, Katana, Striker, Nightwolf, and Liu Kang. Pr pretty, pretty, pretty standard. It's, yeah, mostly, mostly Street Fighter Three characters, or in terms of Katana, a, um, a Street Fighter, a Street Fighter Ultimate Street Fighter. I said Street Fighter Three, didn't I? I meant Mortal Kombat Three. As a Mortal Kombat 3. And for Katana, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. I keep doing this. I keep mixing up my games in my head. I need... Uh, mm, yeah. Um, weirdly, the like the cast is kind of stacked. You got like... You know, Clancy Brown as Raiden. Who's just great. Ron Perlman as Striker. Which... That's just fucking weird. Um, and I'm like, yeah, Luke Perry is uh, Sub Zero. Uh, rest in peace, Luke Perry. Um, it's like one of his, I don't know, not one of his early action roles, but yeah, one of, one of those weird ones. You're like, oh, he was in Biker Mice from Mars. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Um, I need to watch, 
I need to find a physical copy. That's the thing that annoys me. There's no physical copy of this. At least as far as I can tell. There seems to be odd episodes. Um, like I've got Action Man where it's like odd episodes. Like just three episodes of stuff. I throw it on disc. But I can't I can't find anywhere like a a good physical copy. And that's kind of, it's kind of sad. Like I'd love a physical copy to, of this of this weird obscure TV series. Um, and then yeah maybe just uh yeah maybe some behind the scenes to be nice this is just a uh, yeah weird obscure Mortal Kombat series like some of the episodes are good I liked I like the angle of um they made Cabal like a kind of Phantom of the Opera style kind of character really yeah he's just, um he's kind of kind of tortured and hit, hidden away he doesn't join the team at the end, which is sad. I would like to. I would like more Cabal. Um, all, all the characters look look pretty accurate. Um, yeah, they look really. Uh, they all look pretty. Good. I mean, it, it makes sense. They're all br very brightly coloured already, so it kind of fits. Um, yeah, this was. It's. Uh, yeah, why does the fucking last episode look? Yeah, that's a higher animation. Like it just it's higher quality and it doesn't make any sense. Hmm. And they needed to they needed to do more with Shao Kahn. Like they don't do enough with Shao Kahn, I'll be honest. Shao Kahn should be like the kind of the kind of villain like even even if he's like not doing a whole lot, just at least just have him do the damn you Afrelmers and then she should just like shake his fist at the end of the episode going I'll get you next time your realm will be mine um and they were, yeah they were a weird bird man at the end played by John Reese davis on my way what ah ah bird man uh, let's go Kano Kano is definitely irking his um the, try, trying to be the voice from like the movie badly um, but at least he's using his M MK3 outfit it's like that uh, looks kind of cool um, yeah and this, oh yeah that's what I remember it is the series like establishes a lot of extra realms that realms that are just never explored again in any more combat law um, which I kind I kind of like the idea of just like a Mortal Kombat game where it's like, if it was just like a whole bunch of different realms, you know, yeah, you could introduce a whole bunch of new characters. But yeah, um, there, there is a YouTube playlist I have of um, the series, but because it, uh, that's the easiest way I could find it was online. Ultimately, um, which which is a shame. I would have, I would like to do DVD. I mean, how I've got. I got fucking Mortal Kombat Conquest on DVD. All right. Talk about talk about obscure, obscure nineties TV shows. I've got that, but yeah, it's 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 just a a sad one because it look it looks looks alright. Like it, it's clearly yeah made on a nineties cartoon budget, so it's not not great, but like. All the characters look how they should look. Um, they may be a bit weird to know, but overall, yeah, they kind of look how they should. Um, yeah, was well. I'm trying to think of anything else I want to talk about. Oh yeah, they did introduce a, like a um a, a red female ninja. Who yeah, Ermac has like his own clan. Which I don't think is in any way in the law, because Zermak is like a just an amalgam of different character, like an amalgam of different souls stitched together by Shang Tsung, or it could be Shao Kahn. I can't remember. Uh, one or two, because they don't really ever talk about it much now in the games. But like, yeah, Shao Kahn is also supposed to be pretty good depth with magic. It's just normally they give it to other characters because they have Shang Tsung and Quan Chi. He's like, we're gonna we're gonna go to the characters who 
you know are more magic based. Hmm. But yeah, that, that, that's enough of me rambling about the uh, defenders of the realm. I think um, if you can track it down, or if you w w want the play YouTube players, I think I posted it in one of the videos. But if you don't want it, um, I, I'll probably tr I'll just see if I can try and make sure if I remember to put it in the in the description. Um, because yeah. Someone needs to watch it. These this uh, obscure Mortal Kombat lore because I, I I love it. I love it. I also do. Um, I think everyone else should watch it. Let's check it down. All right, that's enough. Uh, what we're we gonna do next. Oh yeah, Mortal Kombat Annihilation. <laughs>